I feel like in the 90s and early 2000s, we were like really into the thin brow era. And over the past like 10 years, I feel like we've been transitioning into this like bushy brow zone, which is perfect for me because I am an Arab woman and my brows are naturally bushy. My makeup artist on Saved by the Bell, Gina, um, is so talented and was really the first person to put me in glam makeup was Saved by the Bell, which is kind of crazy to think about. And that's what sort of established my basic routine. And we had so much fun, first and second season, just every single morning, sending each other Pinterest looks, like picking stuff out, which like, you don't typically get on a TV show set. It's traditionally a lot more conventional and less playful and editorial. and. We have such incredible producers, Tracy and, and Franco, and it also helps that I'm a producer because I can be like, I think that she needs the wing liner. She needs a very long wing. And they're like, does she? And I'm like, it's, an, it's important for the story. Yes, she does. Best beauty advice I've been given would probably be from my mom growing up my mother would tell me like, if you don't think you're hot, no one will. And I was like, damn. But she was so true. She was like, it's all about you. And also someone said on TikTok that what makes you desirable and attractive is not like your face, it's not your body, it's not your hair, it's not your makeup. It's you, like you are what makes you desirable and attractive. And that really changed the game for me. And it made me realize like, it doesn't matter if I have what lip on or what liner on or, if I have makeup on at all, like it's me, it's my soul that makes me beautiful. And I still have to keep reminding myself that. When I want something in life or when I feel like I need something or I feel like something's not serving me, like I remember back when I was younger and I did feel so alone and or I felt empty in certain ways. And, but I had that hope and now that hope became my life now. It sounds so deep and I hate to make this so deep, but it's really just like people who have come up to me and have told me how much you know I mean to them and that I am able to be a light for them to see that you know they have hope for, for themselves. And that's what it is. It sounds crazy, but that's what it is. And I feel like even in my lowest moments, the universe or God or whoever it is, is always like, here they are. And someone will come up to me and they'll like, it'll be like an emotional conversation. and. It, that that is always it, you know, because I have to remember like, this isn't for me. I don't do this for me. I do this for, for my community and my people, and that takes the ego out of it, and that makes me realize like, I'm just gonna stunt, and also call my best friends, and they'd be like, you're so hot, and I'm like, thanks, but then I'd probably be like, you're lying, and then they'd be like, shut up, and I'd be like, all right. Mm -hmm.